Hello friends and welcome back. It's Terry with Terry's Mailbox. Today I'm posting for Altenew in a video hop for part of their new release. Check out the three ways that I did different looks using the same Moroccan tile embossing folder. So again, here is that folder. I love it. It's geometric. It's a 3D embossing folder. It's big. They're six by six. Again, you can get a lot of, lot of coverage. So Altenew had suggested some colors for um, the Moroccan themed release, and so I kind of followed that. I got out my 36 pan watercolor and picked out colors that were um, somewhat close. And so now what I'm doing is I'm just simply um, adding uh, tape onto the edge of watercolor cardstock, and then I'm, I'm painting the stripes. And again, I'm using the colors kind of in a rainbow order. Aren't these colors just bright and delicious and just remind me of Morocco? Um, you can see here that I am drawing the stripes in between each one. If I were to just move on, when the cardstock is wet, the colors would definitely blend together. So, you know, again, I wanted them to be separate, unique um, stripes. So, again, I love this dark teal uh, stripe here on the bottom. It's really, really very interesting. Can't wait to get this one finished. So again, I also then pulled out inks that mimicked the suggestions um, from Altenew. So again, I've got my little ink, ink cubes here, and what I'm doing is I'm smooshing them on my craft mat, and then we'll go ahead and spritz them with some water and do some ink smooshing. Um, the mistake I made was adding this purple next to the orange um, because together it kind of made an interesting look. But um, again, I was able to avoid that because I'm working on a piece of watercolor cardstock that is a little bit larger. So again, I'm dipping and re-dipping and again, um, adding a little more water to get it moving, um, drying it off in between the, um, the stages and so that you get good good layering and interesting layering. So the last one I did was just simply an ink blended. So again, I'm using my cubes again, and I'm making sure that I get a good amount of color put down because I wanted it very, um, very deep and vibrant colors. So again, we're gonna move back to that ink smooshed one. So what I'm doing is I, I embossed it with the folder and then I ran some embossing ink over it, and then I'm gonna add some gold uh, gold embossing powder onto the very top. And so hoping that that will stick with the um, embossed sections of the folder. And it certainly did. However, it also stuck on the back. So all you've got to do is just grab a, um, grab a brush and just use that brush then to knock off some of those extra, you know, the extra extra embossing powder flakes and things. So the next thing I'm doing is heat embossing. You know, there's something something very satisfying watching the gold um, embossing powder just melt and just you know get real shiny. I just I love playing with embossing powders. So there's that one, and here is that ink blended one that I also ran through the embossing folder. And you can see here I'm using a sanding block, just taking the top layer off so that that white, white section underneath is exposed. And then here's my, here's my third one here. I've got the, um, the watercolor stripes and so what we're going to do with that one is a little bit different, and that is we're going to use the embossing pad on the raised section of the embossing folder. I guess it's technically the bottom. It's the one that does not have the name on it. And so then I'm going to go ahead and run it through the embossing or through my die cut machine again. And then what I did is I added gold embossing powder to the top and it kind of sunk down into um, the embossed sections, which I thought was cool. So I took a paper towel and just wiped the extra off and then heat embossed it. And look at that shine and depth that you get with that. I think this one's my favorite. 
there is that ink smooshed one. So again, I'll be trimming that one to take advantage of the colors. And then here is the ink blended one. So I've got three unique backgrounds. So the next thing I did was I took my favorite one and um, ended up cutting out the um, the outline die for the uh, the sentiments. And again, these are foiled sentiments, and the name of it is Encouraging Sentiments. It's a hot foil set with a die set, so I used the shadow die to cut that out of that um, that watercolored panel, and then I, I added a gold panel to the front of the card to begin with. So then we'll go ahead and just, I always use tacky glue on the edges of watercolor paper because I want it to, um, you know, adhere quite well. And then sometimes I add extra glue runner. But again, I'm gonna go ahead and add that to the front of the card, and then I'm going to insert the foiled sentiment into that opening. I thought that was a different look. So you should see a red arrow at the lower right-hand section of your um, your screen. I'd love it if you would subscribe and hit the notification button for um, for my YouTube channel. And again, here you can see here I'm adding a couple of layers to pop it up a little bit. Big fan of popping up sentiments when I can. So we'll go ahead and add that one that has the actual foiling on it. getting it all adjusted so it's all straight there. <laughs> so there's that one. On that ink smooshed one, you can see I've trimmed it down quite a bit. It's about three and a quarter by, um, by five inches. And then I've used the um, this Hello Strip die from, um, from Altenew. And again, it's one that comes with sentiments plus you know, again, this particular die cut, and because I'm using glitter cardstock, I'm only using the, I'm only using the sentiment. So we'll go ahead and just get that all lined up there. And I thought the gold glitter really offset the gold embossing very well, and I felt it necessary to put the white strip under it because the, the gold glitter was getting lost. And so again, here is that particular card. Here is my embossed um, card where I sanded it off and just added a small sentiment on the lower right. And here is that hello card. Again, it's Terry with Terry's Mailbox. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, Blogger, and YouTube. Would love to have you come and subscribe. Thanks for joining the Altenew Hop.